shelling out more than $3.2 million for a condition assessment study of the Mary Rhodes Pipeline Number 1. That pipeline is now 25 years old. But at least one city councilman has some concerns over preliminary findings and the expenses tied to any repairs or improvements made. Our Michael Gibson has the details for us tonight. This is video from 1998 of the Mary Rhodes Pipeline going in between the Owen Stevens Water Treatment Plant and Lake Texana, a 101 mile stretch of piping that carries much needed water to this city as we continue to try and stay one step ahead of drought conditions. Right now, the city is in the middle of a condition assessment. That's an in-depth $3.2 million study of the entire pipeline. The assessment project is gonna, uh, may identify some deficiencies in the pipeline. Um, we haven't identified any yet. But Councilman Roland Barrera says he's heard otherwise. And we're not basically utilizing all the water that's available through the Mary Rose pipeline. Uh, but uh, in order to do that, we need to have some redundancy and we need to have a, there need to be some repairs done. Nick Winkleman with Corpus Christi Water says that an aerial drone assessment of the pipeline has been completed and also soil testing will be conducted. Another thing, pressure sensors have been placed all along the pipeline. That data will be analyzed over the next three months, but so far, Winkleman says nothing alarming has shown up. We're not anticipating a replacement. The pipeline is in use, it's operating, it's running. Uh, again, we're just uh, following through with our due diligence uh, to making sure that we're properly maintaining and addressing any issues that we may uncover. We're here at the Owen Stevens Water Treatment Facility, and this is a cutout from the Mary Rhodes Pipeline Number 2 that they have here for display. It's similar in appearance to the Pipeline Number 1, and we asked the city water expert what the shelf life of these types of pipes are. We're told that that pipe is expected to hold up at least 50 years. We're also told the condition assessment study should be completed sometime next summer. That's when the city will know for sure what, if anything, it needs to do in the way of making repairs or improvements to this vital water pipeline. Michael Gibson, 3 News. All right.